Well, as we head through the next couple of days, we get a little bit of patchy freezing fog. We have the chance of a couple of flurries and then the real cold settles in. But earlier I said this might be the most inaccurate seven day I've ever created, and it's all about the fog and the cold that really is. Now, when it comes to the next seven days, we do know we are going to cool down. But when it comes to freezing fog, it's kind of the wild card. Hear me out on this one. We get a little bit of freezing fog at night that keeps temperatures from dropping drastically. We get a little bit of freezing fog during the day. It keeps temperatures from warming up so we can see highs range five to 10 degrees from any of these numbers. We could see overnight lows range five to 10 degrees from any of the forecasted numbers in the week to come. And it's all about the fog downtown. Not really seeing it. You head north of downtown. You can see it hanging out there and it's real thick as you make your way out toward Airway Heights right now. Visibility down to about a quarter of a mile, three miles in Deer Park and about a mile up and over Lookout Pass. So yes, it's there, but our overall pattern favors more fog and the chance of a little bit of snow. Here's our ridge. It's nosing its way over. It's really positively tilted, but under the ridge or trying to go through it is this. That's a little bit of energy, and that's a storm that if it weren't for that ridge might have a decent chance of bringing us some snow, but because of the ridge, it doesn't really work. It brings a little enough to create winter weather advisories from Wednesday into Thursday for parts of Montana. Libby, I think about an inch to two. We're already starting to see some of that snow filter into North Idaho and we'll continue to see it get more widespread. Tomorrow morning's kind of the main event. Notice it's very scattered in nature to start the day, grows a little more widespread into the eight o'clock hour and then moves out by the second half of the day. How much snow? Ah, all said and done, most locations less than an inch. A couple hot spots going to be Sandpoint and up and over Lookout Pass, about an inch to two, and that's going to be the extent of it. Then as we head through the next few days, it's all about that patchy fog and cold. But once again, this could quite possibly be the most inaccurate seven day forecast I've ever made. What we do know is that it is going to be cloudy. It is going to be foggy. Temperatures are going to drop in the days to come, and we have a very good chance of being down to the single digits by early next week.